try your Thai boxing is a theory and art to manage your life, balancing the mind and the body to perfection. It has been in Thai heritage for hundreds of years and many generations. Next is the practice for each form. This is the Trung Tab form. Punch with the right fist directly and followed by the Pa Satan elbow form, that is, put the elbow up. Next is the Kren Pak Tam form. The focus in the movement is dodging to avoid the brush or knowing the snatch timing. These forms are called the Rugra Chak and the Chak Witi. This is a defense method followed by the cow yudyata form. Move forward with the tree tab form and pull the body into the opposite direction using the sakot man form. That is kicking with the end of the foot. Next is the Klun Pratob Fang form. You kick with the shin and move backward. And prepare to slide on with the Yanyata form. This form is to prevent the opponent from attacking at the side. And then turn the body in the Jot Sam Kung form. Followed by the elbow form called the Klom Kwang. Next is the Fa Talom form which is to flick the elbow backward. These forms focus mainly on the elbow. Kwam Kwang is flicking the elbow back to the front. Next is the Nang Leo form, which is to elbow back down. To put up your elbow by emphasizing on power or the dodging in defense, the boxer has to move forward continuously. You have to focus on a target so as to maximize your kick or the retreat or kicking at the side continuously and harmoniously. You have to show the harmony between the punch and the elbow and how to use the integration of these weapons. The boxer should move forward continuously and agilely to coincide with a gentle but powerful motion. Move gently while the opponent fights or retaliates or attacks him quickly, accurately and firmly. These are the important factors in practicing the relationship of the nine weapons. The target to punch is at the front. Example, the lower chin. Use either the punch or elbow. This is the Kruan Pak Tam. Elbow parallel to the back part of the neck. The retreat, dodging and shielding is called the Pat Wag, the Kratob Nok or the Kratob Nai. 
Next is the knee. Stress the power on the kneecap rather than twisting the body in order to avoid the opponent's attack. At the same time, fight back when the opponent loses his balance, followed immediately by kicking and shoving. Kick at his body with the Kroon Kratob Fang form. Dodge by breaking through the inner circle and elbow. Next is the elbow down. You can see all the movements and the target to attack. The movements we are looking at are gentle, flexible, harmonious, quick, firm and accurate. Practice regularly and repeatedly so as to acquire the skill and expertise needed.